fast and robust hand tracking using detection guided optimization. We present a method for accurately tracking rapid and complex hand articulations using a single depth camera. Our method requires comparably less computational resources, which enables it to run at 50 frames per second with low latency. Our approach is flexible and supports varying camera-to-scene arrangements such as egocentric hand tracking. We represent input data as a mixture of Gaussian functions with associated depth values. The hand volume and surface are also represented using a mixture of Gaussians. This representation allows efficient optimization of hand pose using a 2.5D error metric. We use a decision forest trained on 50,000 examples for hand pot labeling. To increase pose estimation robustness, we incorporate hand pot labels as additional evidence during optimization. Our pose estimation energy has four terms. Together, these terms match for the similarity of the input and hand model Gaussian mixtures, penalize collisions, and ensure smooth tracking of biomechanically plausible poses. We use two versions of the similarity term, one that uses only the depth, and another that incorporates part label evidence. During optimization, we initialize a set of pose hypotheses. Separate gradient-based optimization is performed starting from each hypothesis. Please see the paper for details. We now show the quality of different variants of our method. When using depth-only pose estimation without the collision term, tracking is poor. The collision avoidance term significantly improves tracking accuracy, but the results remain unsatisfactory. Using only detection-guided pose estimation with collisions, results in robust budgetary results. Our combined late fusion approach accurately tracks motions in spite of challenging noise in the data. We show more tracking results on real-time sequences. Notice how our method reinitializes when an error is made due to extremely fast motions. Our method works on different subjects on a variety of common interaction gestures and camera arrangements. Here we show some failure cases. Finally, we show comparisons with state-of-the-art commercial systems. Pinching is an important gesture for interaction applications. The method of Mellax et al. produces a sliding effect when pinching, while our method tracks the pinch stably. We notice a similar problem with the leap motion when using a comparable camera arrangement.
we end by showing more tracking results. Thank you for your attention.